What's up guys, Rick here from Sharp Productions, and today we're actually going to be starting a new survival series called uh, Build the Night. Now, I'm currently on this um, survival series. Now, I am starting it fairly late in game. And the reason for that being, it's because this is a server that I've been on for quite some time now, and I have quite a bit built up. Um, so I'm pretty much going to give you guys a tour currently of what I have built and projects that I'm working on. And um, we'll go ahead and go from there. This is the house that I currently started in and I'm still living in. So this is my starter and current house. It's uh, on top of a savanna biome here. Uh, a couple little aesthetics and stuff going around. Um, we are actually... So I'll give you the tour of the area. I own this almost entire savanna biome. This server is mainly based off of building. So we PvP is always disabled on the server and it's mainly focused around building and structures and that's how ranks are essentially awarded in the server. Um there are no you don't pay for ranks, you don't pay to win or anything. It's a very small community of just people and um the more you build and the more impressive and organized and structurally impressive your builds are, um the higher ranks you get and the ranks uh give you um different perks that are are nice just as if you were to buy them but the ranks are free you just have to put in the time and effort to um, earn them so I really like that that's why I'm actually I stick on the server quite often it's a very economy based server okay so next top of the tour is my tree farm um, so basically it's very simple the way it works you put um, whatever saplings you want in your offhand this farm can only do uh, jungle birch oak and spruce trees um, however, we have essentially a bone meal input chest, so you go ahead and you put your bone meal in, input in there, and there's a big storage silo that has all the bone meal on there, and this is a indicator that I created um, to show how full the bone meal is. Um, and if you, to in order to use the farm, you power this lever on, and you shift click on the dispenser to place your sapling. The dispenser bone meals the sapling. And when the tree grows up, the machine breaks all the leaves, collects all, and collects all the drops, such as the sticks, the logs, and everything else. And you just continue that process, and you can very, very easily gather as much wood as you need. Acacia will break this farm, so this farm will not does not work with acacia, as well as dark oak, because of um, you need four saplings here to grow one dark oak tree, and the acacia won't work because um, it grows branches unlike the other trees, which just go a straight through uh, a straight column of logs here. If we come into the back here, this is where all the redstone action is going on here. I am quite a bit of a redstoner myself, so if you guys want to see some redstone tutorials on whatever. Um, just leave some requests, and I will look into that, and I'd be more than happy to do a couple of those for you. But if we go up here, um, I actually decorated the top of this build with this really pretty atrium uh, with the custom oak tree that I designed. And my little parrot here, Pablo. He was patiently waiting for me there. Uh, and a nice little lake, and uh, I love the with some waterlogged slabs. So very, very nice. Uh, some lily pads. And um, these are open balconies, so I can just kind of fly in and out. And from the outside, just flying around at it, you can kind of see all the decoration inside, and I think it looks very, very nice. Um, I'm not going to be going over these structures, simply because this is a friend of mine. Um, so these, are, I, I did not build uh, these on uh, this side. Um, let's, let's go around here. This is just a horse barn. Nothing too special or nothing fancy. We have our enchantment table room here with just uh, a chest for books or lapis, which is currently empty. A grindstone and ender chest. And uh, there's nothing in the attic, so I don't really have to go up there. And then a couple things, interesting things we have around here. Some major plans, right? This is a fully automatic wool farm. Uh, thanks to the 1.14 mechanic, dispensers, in case you didn't know, are now able to shear uh, sheep when a sheep is placed in front of it. Um, and I actually took this design from uh, Cubfan. 
Um, this is all. All this is is you have an observer detecting when the grass block uh, turns into a dirt block from the sheep eating it like that. And then this, we have smart pistons in every corner um, that rotates this conveyor belt of grass around, yeah. allowing, giving the time, giving the grass time to regrow. Hopefully by the time it reaches uh, back yeah. here. Um, there's nothing too special about it. I, do, I did modify it quite slightly, and I added an idle timer inside, meaning that um, if no up, if, if an update does not occur within a certain given time, I forgot how much time it is, a couple of 10, 15 seconds, because roughly you'll always have sheep eating here, unless a dirt block is under here. Like, like this one that made it all the way around without regrowing, um, it'll stay there until it regrows, but instead of me waiting, for it to turn into grass, I just have an idle timer here that if it does not detect the grass being eaten after a certain amount of time, it automatically just moves to the next conveyor belt, which you'll see here, because that was a dirt block, and then there we go. So that way it uh, maximizes the efficiency of the farm. Now this server also has a, a shop system, just the typical shop the typical, I think it's a chess shop is a plugin, and it has an economy, so that is currently my balance right now, and I can show you roughly around what the community is. To put this into perspective, a diamond is worth about four five hundred dollars on the server, um, so that gives you a reference for how much money that is. So we can come into, and I, the reason I showed you that is to give you context for the prices that I have set here for this is my wool storage facility so all of that sheep wool that gets uh, sheared comes down here and it gets automatically sorted into all of these chests and this also doubles as my um, wool shop which I like to call wool mart um, now this obsidian block here is actually a telepad which is um, it's a plugin that is on the server that just allows us to teleport at the cost of an eye vendor, which is why I have a stack of these in my inventory. Um, it allows you to teleport to any other telepad in the server um, that you know the name of, so you can kind of just teleport to shops or what have you. Um, and we have this very nice, I think, array of wool going around matching the individual type of wool that's in the chest. So, it's like a rainbow, but it matches uh, whatever wool is in here. And then I have an overflow system in case it backs up um, with the chest here. And if you pull this lever, it will destroy... I also use it as a trash can, because it'll <laughs> it'll destroy whatever is uh, left in here. Alright, I am starting a company on the server, actually. Deemed Shaw Incorporated, and I'm actually... Uh, claimed this area here, back here, and what I'm going to have is an office building, and because we are going to make more shops, I'm going to make much more uh, farms and stuff to make some more uh, profit, and we will go ahead, so this is an ongoing project right now, I'm designing a foundation to build that building on, it's going to be a very nice modern design office building that I'm uh, going to create. And this mountain is going to be also something, it's most likely going to turn into some sort of secret uh, laboratory type idea, but I do want to focus on this, this is going to be like some sort of a, a modern-ish uh, district, so I'm going to have streets, a couple, um, this main office building and a couple like modern houses or tinier shops and such, or, uh, or things like that. So that, those are the plans for this area here. All right. So that same trash can mechanic uh, I actually have in my house here, which is this chest. The one that's in my wool farm is basically the same thing as here, so you put it in here, and uh, like for example these, eyes of Ender. Um, or let's, let's put in some dirt, let's put in some dirt, right? Now this chest will not... Um, will not destroy the items until you pull this level confirming and the light will turn on to say, to signal that it's on. Now the reason I did that is because I could totally see myself accidentally putting something valuable like that in there and then it just automatically gets dispensed. So I wanted to put a confirm action so that way I'm able to double check, make sure everything in here is I want to destroy, and then we can go ahead and flip the lever and they'll start destroying them. But I actually need this dirt so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, 
Now, it's a very, it's a very simple house. It's a very simple house. However, we have there's some secrets to it because I am, I am quite the redstoneer, like I said myself. So if we go in here, into this completely anonymous looking fireplace, perfectly innocent looking fireplace, and we click a button that's hitting behind the fire, you'll see this staircase pops out. It's actually flush, three wide staircase here. Completely inconspicuous, no one would suspect. Let me go down here, we can close it up behind us to make sure nobody follows us in. So if we go down here, we have these this armory. Now, each one of these cells, as I like to call them, holds three armor stands that can be rotated. So, for example, I have, let's say, a different piece of armor in this cell is stored. I can press this button, and it'll cycle to the next armor stand, and then I can cycle to the next one. And they all have chainmail armor, so I'm gonna try some that have different pieces of armor so you think I'm not messing with you. So let's try this one. So you can see that's a different armor stand. And then if we click the button one more time, that's a different armor stand. And then if we come back, press it a third time, it comes back with the first armor stand. So every one of these cells holds up to uh, three sets of armor. However, you probably think that's it, and actually you'd be wrong. So if you see go, you see this ominous looking clock on the wall, we turn that to the right twice, right? It opens this flush piston door in the wall here that you would have never suspected to be a, a secret door. We go down here into this elevator, and we can start going down. Now it, it goes down quite a ways. So we make it to the bottom, and we actually have my current project, my current mega project, I should say, which is this insane underground palace, which is actually going to double as a factory for all the farms that I am currently making. This is mainly made out of quartz and white concrete, um, and every one of these iron bars are going to be where I'm going to hang some diamond chandeliers. Um, this pathway is going to be where I'm going to make the most secure vault ever. This is going to be the most secure vault that anybody has ever made in Minecraft, and that is not an understatement. This hallway is going to be mainly where I'm going to have, and I need to mine this back wall out more, um, but this is where I'm going to have my main uh, factory and farm. So we're going to have villager breeders, iron farms, potato farm, like everything that you could ever need, type of farm, gold farm, iron farm, etc. Um, so this is where all that is going. And you would have not suspected it, considering it is such a tiny, tiny house uh, on, a, on a mountain in a savanna biome. But this is a huge project. That I, I've been going on, I've been working on this project for quite some time. The main struggle was trying to get a design right. That's pretty much it for this base tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, feel free to subscribe. This is going to be first of many. Uh, to come in the series and I'm looking forward to the rest of you guys that are going to stick around to watch because this is going to be an amazing project. I can't wait to share it with you guys and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.